United States has, is largely driven by the private sector. And India is important to the energy and climate change problem for several reasons. First, it is the biggest democracy in the world. It, it contains 1.1 billion people. By 2030, it's going to project its population to be 1.5 billion. Electricity. There's no electricity. 40% people still don't have access to electricity, which is huge. And uh, they still rely on coal. I think one of the challenges is how to utilize the coal in a clean way is something which is, uh, which is, an, uh, which is a challenge, also an opportunity. The renewable is increasing, the share is increasing, but still, you know, uh, it doesn't supplement as the base load. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You still uh, have to go back to coal for reliable, for industrial purposes. But that's a common feature between the United States and India, is because we, we have all got large, we both got large coal reserves, and we are likely to use coal in the future. They want to improve the efficiency of their coal plants going to supercritical and ultra supercritical plants. So I think we in the United States have a lot to offer there. So this is a common issue between the two countries is that if you find uh, cost effective and scalable ways of capturing the carbon dioxide from those coal combustion, you could then produce electricity in a clean way without a carbon footprint. And so that's something that I, I believe is an opportunity for both the countries to work together. Delhi already has one of the longest networks of the subway now and they're still expanding. So uh, we hope that it helps decongest the city and also improve uh, the air quality. 80% uh, of the infrastructure of India is yet to be built. Uh, what we have today and what we're going to have by 2030. So this is an incredible opportunity for India to build its buildings, its cities, its highways, its, its infrastructure, its transportation in the most energy efficient way possible. Most of the auto rickshaws in Delhi are run on uh, compressed natural gas. All the public transport, the buses, uh, the Delhi Transport Corporation has converted all their buses on to natural gas from diesel, which was highly polluting. And uh, there is a remarkable difference in the air quality since then, which was even worse from what it is now. So This is an incredible opportunity to more efficiently use uh, the biomass that each country does have a cycle. But we have to access if we want to break. You know. There are opening markets in India. It's a great opportunity. India wants us to work with them and we're delighted to try to forge these relationships. We also have a center for sustainable development. It is a, the fifth largest uh, producer and uh, installer of wind energy. So wind, solar, solar photovoltaic and solar thermal, it, these are uh, opening new markets. They're very aggressive about trying to expand their uh, renewable resources. Uh, they uh, want to go towards a smart grid. To develop this because of rural parts of the United States, we, we want to create, we want wealth creation in rural parts of the United States as well. The U.S. can work with India on getting clean technologies having renewable technologies to India, this would really work. I think they are still in the process of developing it. If they have the right technologies, this will really help them.